Hello and welcome, friends. Howdy. Hello, hello. There we go. Everything good? I think everything's good. Let's get started. Oh, shit. I was gonna grab... Hold on. <laughs> I gotta get up. I bought some stuff today. Nothing, like, super exciting or anything, but I still bought some stuff, so I was gonna show it real quick, and I just kind of... I forgot, because I'm stupid, but I think it's, like, right on the other side of my screen here, so... Like, yeah, let me go... Let me go grab it real quick. Wait, no, I forgot it, like, downstairs. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyways, <laughs> but nothing nothing crazy exciting or anything. I went to Goodwill, basically. I just got a couple things from Goodwill. Um, PS1 controller. That came with a PS1. A uh, bunch of cords for PlayStation 1. God, I don't have space for all this. A PS2 controller that like needs a little bit of cleaning, but other than that... Looks and feels really good. So new PS2 controller. Always looking for PS2 controllers, so that's exciting. Though it does really need like cleaned out and all the cracks and stuff. The PS1 that I got came with two controllers. So I do have another one of those. And then <laughs> I'm stupid and I bought this one, this controller, thinking it was another PS2 controller. And then I realized that no, that's a DualShock 1, not a DualShock 2. Um, so there's that. Either that or it's like, I'm pretty sure it's a DualShock 1. Yeah, between like the connector on it and the fact that it doesn't say DualShock 2. And anyways, but anyways, I bought that too. You can't have too many PS1 controllers, so whatever. And then a PS1 controller. Like I said, it came with two, so got two of those. And then, ah, oh fuck, I'm already out of room here. It's fine, we got this. And then I got a PS1. Which actually looks like it's pretty good condition. Like, it's a lot cleaner than I expected it to be. The button still works well on it. Um, like, that button there, the open button, gets stuck, like, on these things so often. But it looks good. All the ports are clean and stuff. The console itself looks pretty clean. It has an after mem aftermarket memory card on it here. A Nico memory card, too. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably garbage. I'll probably never use it other than to see what's on it. But, like, that's in there. I just want to open it up and see if it's modded or not. Um, because I'm just curious. And then I may end up, like, using it for... I don't know if I'm going to use it for parts. Replace the one that I have with this one, maybe. Because this one looks better condition than the one that I have. Um, I don't know. But this one here is a... Oh, <laughs> it's a newer model than the one that I have. The fat PS one that I have, at least. So, like, yeah, I don't know. I might swap it out. I might not. I may just keep it. I may mod it myself. We'll see. I just, I don't know, it was cheap, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, that's cool. So I grabbed that, and then... They didn't have very many, like, games at my local Goodwill, but they did have one. They had Ape Escape on the PS1 for 10 bucks. So, I mean, like, shit, dude. When I saw that, and it's like, it's complete, you know, it's in good condition, it's got the case and the, the manual and the disc and everything, and I was like, well, fuck, dude, for 10 bucks, like, the disc isn't too scratched up or anything like that, so, yeah, for 10 bucks, I couldn't pass that up, so I got that too. And that's it, like I said, it really wasn't much, I just, uh, saw some things, and I was like, I want those things, so, yeah, <laughs> I didn't plan on, like, buying anything like that, but the PS1 just could be useful. 
for, like I said, for parts, for modding, just as a backup, whatever. Um, and then the game was, yeah. And then controllers, and just always needing more retro game controllers. Um, specifically, I would have much preferred it to be PS2, because I use my PS2 a lot more, but like, whenever I have friends over and stuff, I don't own a multi-tap yet, but I want to get a PS2 multi-tap, so that I can play like, all my old games with friends when they come over, so that'd be cool. Anyways, yeah, so, that's that. Uh, hi Kiwi, do you have one eye? What is with the red dot? Anyway, okay, wait, uh, what? <laughs> oh, that's it, he just says what? Is that literally all you say? That is literally all you say, okay. I'm super confused about this town. Okay, we don't seem to be able to go into the menu to, like, edit or anything, so it must already be, like, all built up. Who are you? Who are you? That's the real question here, my guy. Um... Moose? Ah, what on? Leave me alone, will you? <laughs> it's just so rude. Okay. I don't think they're used to having human visitors around here. Can we go in? We can go in. Okay. I didn't think it was gonna let us at first. Ah, humans. Yes, humans. Yikes, who the heck are you? That's a... Uh, mm, trying to figure out the same thing about you people, to be honest with you. If you'd give me some sort of hint, that would be that would be nice. I mean, I guess they're the, the brown boos? I think that's this place was called the brown boo village, right? That makes sense. Oh, that ladder's broken. Maybe that's something we need to fix. Oh no, don't talk to me. Um, okay, rude. Hi, Pickle. What? Are you a human? I think so. What are we supposed to be doing here? <laughs> like, surely there's someone that we we need to talk to or something, right? Strage Guard. I feel like that was supposed to say strange. Who, who the heck are you? Sorry, there's nothing here for you. Hmm, I don't trust him. I think there's something here for us. I don't know what it is, but I think there's something there for us, specifically. Your fidget thing's all done? Hell yeah. I'm excited to see it. Uh, what is today? The third. Okay. It's a Friday. Um, our food order's supposed to be here Friday, Noodle. Oh. I thought something broke for a second when the screen just went black like that, but no. Oh, no! <laughs> Bonk. Whoa, bingo, the first try and look at it. Like, it's boring, kind of. What do you do with this? Wait, what? Hopefully before we leave, yeah, hopefully. We'll see. As far as I know, I can't like schedule a delivery day with them, but yeah. Oh no, you did, it did show up, look at you go. Nice on the 85th street. So you've come around, what does a human want in a place like this? The streaks don't show up on stream themselves, sadly. They just show up in like chat and I don't, I'm usually looking at the, the stream chat, not the like chat or chat. Anyways, <laughs> the dark genie, what is that? It's no use talking nonsense. Or I'm not talking at all, I'm mute. I'm sure sticking your head under the water will help you to reconsider playing the fool. Wow, they just straight torturing us over here? Person seems to be telling the truth. Crystal has, please just come. I mean, I have no idea what's going on. Here we go. Brrr, clunk. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dude? Is this like, can they see the future in this crystal or something? What is this? Oh, this is like the intro cutscene thing, ain't it? Is this where the Dark Genie was summoned at? I can't remember, it's been a while since we did like the beginning of the game, but this might have been that weird dance hall. What certainly appears to be his castle at least, if nothing else. Question is, I guess, did he like renovate the, the place or is this... <laughs> what the hell, dude? Or was this just his castle? Maybe they broke into his castle to like summon him. I mean, that would kind of make sense, I guess, right? Hmm, I feel a tremendous power. You want to see it now or after stream? Whichever. If you want to bring it up now, I'll check it, blah, check it out now. If you don't want to, then I'll check it out after. This must be the dark genie that the guy was talking about. Is this the evil genie of darkness that our ancestors sealed? Probably. 
Wait, so it was their ancestors that sealed the genie? What? You're telling us to seal that thing again? No way, never. We can never seal that monster, not with the ability we have now. Theo was right. Magic is indeed the secret power the moon people have passed on through the generations. But as we lived this land for so long, we seem to have lost that ability. We just don't have the power to seal the genie anymore. It doesn't mean that it's impossible, though. Well, what do we do? There are no moon people left here who can still use magic. But if you go to moon, there should definitely be those that can. Wait, are we actually going to travel to the moon? Exactly, you're right. We need to go to the moon! Yeah, that seems like it should be easy, right? People in Brown Boo have always prepared for this day to return. We have a ship to take us to the moon, hidden in a particular place. What? Can we really do such a thing? It's okay, we won't use it for a while anyway. Bring the moon orb here. Roger. The orb of the moon is a sphere to move the moon ship. With the orb, you can remotely control the moon ship from anywhere. Ooh, it's a remote control moon ship. How fancy. Oh no! The moon orb is missing! Does anyone know where the orb is? The other day, Yasuka went to Queens to sell moon fruits. Could it be that it was accidentally mixed together with the moon fruit? Yasuka! Oh my god. Do you know about the moon orb? Uh, now that you ask, I do remember a strange colored fruit among the others. It must be it. How could you do that? I'm so sorry, chief. My god, dude. These dudes are idiots. idiots. It's like we can't let you use the moonship. Without the moon orb, we cannot operate the moonship. Why not go to Queens to find the orb? Oh, that's a good idea. You can find the orb on your own, then we can operate the moonship. These kind of things should be done by oneself, I suppose. And you'll return it after you're done with it. With them doing all the work, what are we doing? Now we'll make Queens on your I will mark Queens on your map so you can go there. You better get moving soon. Off you go. Bruh, this all sounds fake. I think they're just trying to like get us the hell out of here, you know? Just usher us away as quickly as they can. Can we... Can we just, like, teleport to Queens, or... It does seem like we can. But is there anything else to do here? I'm destroying Queens, too. That spells serious trouble if you did. Okay, so we probably need to restore Queens to get the Moon Orb. That makes sense. Is there... Anything else we can do here, though? Your adventure's heading for... To a faraway place. You really shouldn't go on foot. You mean we can't just walk to the moon? Let's get out of this village now. Bruh, why are you so rude all the time? I'm trying to help you people too. If the Dark Genie takes over the world, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to have a pretty bad day yourselves. Uh, okay. Wait, so can we not walk there? Do we literally have to like teleport there? There's no other way. Do you have anything new to say? You're the shipwreck in Queens is haunted. Burr. Burr indeed. I guess we do just have to like teleport there, eh? Alright. Teleportation it is, dude. Go to other area. Queens. It's like Queens. New York? Rhode Island? It's in Queens is in New York, right? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't <laughs> Fancy. This is way different than the places we've dealt with so far. But it is just another empty... Yeah, okay. Oh, it's just a long strip, though? Or no, okay, we can we can go to the sides, too. How do we get in and out of here? There's doors. Sick. Can we go over to this side, too? Nice. Wait, what's along the edge? Like... Okay, there is stuff over here. We just couldn't see it on the map. It's like, why would it just be black voids around the edge, though? All right, well, since there's, like, nowhere to go, I'm assuming we just have to go through, um, why can't I drop myself anywhere? Okay, fine. Guess we walk in. Go down here, we can. Can we go in the water here? Probably not, eh? No. 
I just want to take a swim, man. Look at it. Even though, I mean, <laughs> presumably that's like sewer pipes dumping into the, the river here in the middle, so maybe not. Oh wait, there's no people left, so it's fine. It's just like runoff or something, right? It must be raining somewhere or something. Oh, this is the haunted ship, ain't it? I just no realized that was like a ship off in the distance that we're walking toward. Oh, there's actually somebody alive? Hello. Who are you? Oh, you. So there are other humans left other than myself. I thought I was the only one left in the whole wide world. Good to know there's someone, even though you are only a kid. I'm Rondo. I sell goods here in Queens, and you? No, we don't have to stand here talking. Why don't we go over to my shop? Wait, does he actually sell shit? Do we get access to a shop just right away? That's pretty cool, dude. If we do. Normally, we don't get a shop in a town until, like, at least a handful of dungeon levels. They brought that fat beast back to life? Fools. They must be from the east. They're up to some madness again, those blasted easterners. Blood-sucking scum of the earth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Even back then. So what's the moon orb like? That's what you're looking for. I see. Maybe it's lost in the undersea treasury. It's a shipwreck at the bottom of the Queen Sea. Most merchants and queens use it as a warehouse, but it's changed lately. Now there are monsters everywhere. A giant monster that attacked queens must be the cause. Today it's so dangerous a place that we cannot even go get our merchandise. Do you want to go there? All right then, I'll help you. Come, follow me. But is he going to be a party member too? Seriously hope that like he works as a shop at least. Whether he's a party member or not is meh, whatever, but having an actual shop... Sorry, I didn't sleep well last night. Having an actual shop would be really nice this early. This Queens is a town of merchant traders. Some items we handle are really rare and expensive. Such expensive items need special care and handling. The safest place to keep such items here in Queens is... It's kind of a huge safe at the bottom of the sea, but you're wondering why that ship sank there, aren't you? I mean, it didn't really cross my mind. About a hundred years ago, the Queen resigning over Queens passed away. And that was when the townspeople who adored the Queen sunk her favorite ship along with her. That's the wrecked ship at the bottom of the sea near Queens. When Queens revived as a merchant town, the late Queen's sunken ship started to serve as the undersea treasury. It sounds a bit disrespectful, but merchants are practical. They make the best of any situation. What? Oh, how are you going to get there? Take a look at that. This It is a submarine turtle that makes trips to and from the shipwreck. <laughs> I know how to read. We got this. It's fine. Reading's fine. It's wording that's hard. This is what the merchants use to ride to and store valuable items in the treasury. There, it's all yours. It only carries one person, so you have to go alone. How do you operate it? It's easy. You just get in and it'll take you to the shipwreck. It was designed for merchants who know little about machines are only good at counting money. I'll be in my store, so stop by if you need anything. My store carries lots of stuff. Oh, I'll give you a hand, but I have to charge you for the goods. You know, times like this, a merchant is a merchant. Take care now. Bruh, I think we actually do get a ship. That's sick. And even though it says that, like, only one person can ride this thing, I'm assuming we still get to keep our party, right? Oh, like, all three people so far. Probably more later. Do you have, like, stuff around here anywhere? That I can take? Like, treasure chest stuff? Probably not until we do some more dungeon floors for this town. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, at least. I think hidden back here? No. Fine. Uh, hello. You find that moon orb thing. I'll go looking where I think it might be, too. Nope. Can I shop here? Mighty healing heals all conditions. That's pretty nice. We could get rid of... Oh, thanks. Ah, it's warm. So how do you... So I don't break it. How do you... What do you... Ooh. I mean, that is neat. I'm just really worried about breaking it. <laughs> like tearing it apart or something. But it is cool. I mean, it's a, and it's just paper. It's a shit ton of paper that's all been shaped and then, what, just pushed together or something? Folded together? Oh. 
I did. I did not. I would never pull on it. There. I fixed it. I did fix it. It just came apart again. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's cool. Good job. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you for the tea. So yeah, so instead of carrying like antidotes and soap and is that it? There's got to be like other status effects. Is, is there like some sort of curse thing? I don't know. But anyways, we can just carry these instead. Releases from spells. Causes major damage to the undead. Releases from gooey condition. Okay, so holy water is both. You can use it as like an attack item and as a healing item. Okay, so that's cool. I mean, we don't really have, like, the extra money now to be wasting on stuff like that, but eventually. Precious herb, it makes cure-all medicine, so I'm assuming it makes this mighty healing. But anyways, he doesn't have, like, anything that we need to buy, though. He doesn't really sell anything all that fancy besides the full heal. I mean, sure, he has, like, premium water and cheese instead of regular water and bread, but... Like, come on, who cares? <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. But hey, we have somewhere to sell our shit, though. That's nice. That's what I really care about. Give more bread. Give him all the bread and all the water. Stack that up. And then... What's this? Standing powder? No. Antidotes. There we go. We still have, like, almost half of our inventory open. I guess we just gotta, like, go into this thing and see what happens, man. Down into this ship. Like, there's also a fishing area, but I I really have decided, like, we're, we're done with fishing. Oh, we can't walk up it. I'm like, <laughs> bro, I could not figure out how to get on the submarine. I thought we'd, like, walk to the top and then press X. Not just, you know, watch a cutscene the whole way. This still seems a bit impractical. Like, sure, I guess it's a vault of some sort. Like, having to go underwater to get all of the, the valuables and shit like that. But, like, hmm. I don't know, man. It still seems like a bit of a pain in the ass to have to go, like, to the bottom of the ocean to get your stuff and then cart it all back on this little tiny sub. Like, and the sub, he said, is only big enough for one person, so you couldn't bring more than, like, a handful of bags with you at a time, right? There's no way that ship's only big enough for one person, though. Look how big the hole in the top is, man. Compared to us. You could fit a couple of people on there, at least. Wait, does this count as a dungeon? We didn't get, like, the floor selection or anything. Oh, maybe we haven't actually entered yet? Shipwreck. Maybe this is the dungeon part. Yeah, there we go. Layer one. Okay. Layer one it is, dude. Are we going to have to fight, like, the queen? The ghost queen? Is that, is that going to be, like, the final boss? For this, for this area? Okay, it's been a week. What kind of stuff do we have here? Bandit slingshot. That's what we're actually leveling up right now. Then we have Steve and the steel slingshot. He still kind of sucks. Okay, so we're just hoping to get, like, items for him. Okay, this isn't too bad. I was a little worried, like, with the new area that the enemies would be significantly stronger or something, but no, they're not... They're not really all that bad, are they? That's the way down. I'm assuming we need something? Hopefully that seems to have some function. Okay, so maybe we need to find, like, rope? To be able to travel down? Uh, we, we're fine. Weapon and repair. 
Now, again, we could, like, status break it. But I'm curious. How many more times can we upgrade it? Is there a limited number of upgrades? Or did I misunderstand how that works? Maybe you can upgrade as many times as you want. But you just can't status break until it gets to level 5 or whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Tastes extra good today. I don't know what. I don't know why, but that's good. Good. Thank you, Noodle. I can't see. This is garbage. Oh shit! There's another one. Hello, uh, weapon. No, let's repair. Yeah, this is like our basic one. We want to get this one, like. Bro, Twitch keeps declining my card, and I think it's a glitch, but if I delete my card and retry it, it'll cancel my sub, and there goes my streak. Bro, what if you... Do you have Amazon Prime? <laughs> what if you just use your Amazon Prime sub? I don't even know if you have Amazon Prime. Ye See, we'll let you use an Amazon Prime sub for one month, then? Could you just do that instead? My god. See, like hook oh so that's probably what we need for the pulley or whatever um but look how much like of our endurance our weapon endurance killing that one thing took compared to using the slingshot where it's just like one ammo <laughs> how do i even go about that when you're on the sub screen or like on the main page and you click on sub it should have a toggle like a two different options for whether you want to like use amazon prime or whether you want to pay the 4.99 or whatever i don't know how it works if you're already like paying for a sub for somebody but normally it's there at least so it may be different if you've like already paid for a sub for somebody though i don't know oh my god dude yeah see like it's just not worth it i want to level up his weapons but like it's costing us, like, three durability per hit. That's insane. We're gonna use so much... shit doing that. So much, uh... repair powder. And with her, we're just, like, we're back, we're safe. It's just, like, she's just better, man. And we get to steal items from people. Like, I feel like we still need to use the other dudes so that we can level them up. But shit, dude. They really make me not want to. Speaking of, we need to use, like, Goro or whatever his name is, too, for the same reason. Get him leveled up. Jake acquired. Hi, Jake. Shit, we're gonna have to sell more, like, gold bars soon just to buy more repair powder. Unless we find some decent stuff down here to sell. Can we just sell, like, all these Atla things that we're collecting? Like, can we sell Jake? <laughs> no. Road. I have no idea how we're going to lay out this town. I guess just, like, in the two big town squares. And then if it'll let us, I would like to just put more trees down along the middle section. Ooh, Mimi, those sell for good money. Some tasty water. Do we have a fountain or anything on this level? We don't. It's another gunny, dude. Gunnies really suck. Because I think it has something to do with, like, the enemy that you're hitting. I think that has something to do with how much durability you lose on your weapons. I mean, okay. <laughs> Okay, this dude sucks, but... Oh! Oh, he guards! But he, like, can stun people, is what I was gonna say, which is neat. That ate over half. That ate, like, two quarters. Two quarters? That's half. Dummy. Two thirds of our durability, is what I was trying to say. What about, like, these dudes? Do you cost the same amount to hit? 24... 23, no, yeah, see, these dudes cost significantly less to hit.
Okay, well that costs a lot though. Yeah, screw it, dude. We're just switching back to the other the to to Zhao. may not have like the health pool that other people have but like that's because of us man we kind of did that to ourselves on purpose how much more do we need for her weapon to level up again i'm really curious about how that works 72 out of 90 so we're almost there because if we can just keep leveling the same shit up forever then we might end up doing that with the bandit slingshot at least until we can Upgrade it. I'm just wondering like whenever we whenever we build it up into a new weapon. I'm wondering if its ability transfers over with it Because I would really like to keep that that steel ability that we have Is a nice ability man free shit for like doing nothing Sorry, I got a, like, a message. I just want to make sure it wasn't anything important, but I can't see what it is. I'm trying to play at the same time, and like it's not working well. Okay, no, it's nothing important right now. Speaking of not working, I'm assuming it's not working for you, my guy, OptiJack. <laughs> I mean, it sucks to lose your streak, but like it's not that big of a deal. And no, like it's still you still keep your streak, right? Cause like, doesn't it pop up still and say like, so and so subbed for seven months, even if you skip a couple of months in between there? I think it's just like the total amount of time that you've subbed, not the number of months that you've subbed or whatever. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I could be totally wrong on that though. Oh shoot. I don't know if these dudes are just super weak or if like this weapon has some sort of a thing that just damages them extra, but god damn, dude. Pumped with energy. Well, now that the floor's done, that's <laughs> perfect timing. We get pumped right before we leave. What do we need to build this up still? Endurance and speed. And then a bunch of other stuff. Everything and a bunch of stuff. Okay, yeah. We're probably just going to status break sometimes and just hope for more good weapons eventually. Um, How are we for... Hey! There you go, dude. You figured it out. Congrats. And thank you for the sub. <laughs> Jack just subscribed with Prime. Yeah, see, it definitely, it definitely doesn't have to do with the streak, like how many months in a row. It's just total. Because, like... It's 19 months. I know you haven't been subbed for 19 months straight. Which makes it a pain in the ass to use Prime now. Well, yeah, because they want you to pay them money. <laughs> That's what it is, man. With Prime, you're losing Amazon money. Whereas if you just like buy the sub, you're, you're making them $2.50 or whatever. We can go to the next floor. I meant to check how much repair powder we had, but screw it. I think we have some escape powder if worse comes to worse. You have to click the button, then click elevate my subscription, which I'm not doing, and then click a ticker that says use Amazon Prime. I mean, at least you figured it out, right? Could be worse. They could just not have it be an option at all. It is weird that you have to click the elevate thing, but I feel like instead of I feel like that's just bad wording, you know? Like, it should be, instead of Elevate, it should just be called, like, Change My Subscription. Something along those lines. Not letting this thing break. Uh, Repair. Ah! Oh, we got hit. It's fine. We don't get hit with her very often. She needs to take a hit every now and then. Remember her place. Okay, it's full. You can now upgrade it. I'm going to upgrade it just because, again, I'm curious how that works. So, upgrade. Oh, wait. First off, customize. Yeah, okay. You don't have anything customized in you. Attack plus one. 
And then are these fish people? Are they like undead? Is that an option? Mimics, witches, flying plants, wind ice holy? I mean, these undead looking dudes look like holy would be a good one, but I don't know. Sea killer. Let's put that in there. Upgrade. Confirm. I'm just curious. Like, if it gives us the option to upgrade again, then I'm going to assume that it's... Okay, yeah. So, I'm, I'm guessing... Could be completely wrong. But I'm guessing you can upgrade as many times as you want. Um, now, I think we're going to go ahead and status break it and then throw it into something else. I'm tempted to throw it into Steve. <laughs> Although, man, it is, like, by far our strongest one, though. So, it would suck to lose it. And you only carry over like 60% of stats, I think it is. So it'd be a bonus of like 18, 19, like 19 ish. Okay, so it would still end up being roughly the same strength if we applied it to like, say, Steve, just as an example. What does Steve upgrade to? Needs a lot of things. I feel like Steve's a special weapon of some sort, though. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. I try not to look things up too often in these games, but Steve just feels special to me, so I don't want to screw it up. Um, I think I have yeah. Uh, so where's Steve? Steve upgrades to Super Steve, so Steve is a special weapon. What do we have now? The bandit slingshot? So the bandit slingshot is actually one of the base level weapons. <laughs> it is by far our best weapon, and it's one of the best ones that you... Or it's one of the worst ones that you can get for, for Zhao. The steel, bone, and bandit are the three, like, most basic weapons that you can get for... Well, and then Steve, but yeah. Steve's special, though. So yeah, screw it. I'm gonna try to upgrade Steve, then. So let's take the bandit slingshot. Status break you. It sucks that we're going to lose the steel ability, but whatever. Seal 60% weapon ability to sphere. Do without attachments. Do status break. Yes. Okay, so we get a special sphere now. Now, I think those spheres can only be used on the same person. I guess I've never actually checked. Since fear attachment with capability of bandit slingshot six. Oh no, you can attach it to other things. To other people. That's sick. I didn't know that. Okay, well anyways, no, we're we're not going to though. We're gonna leave it on Zhao. It's her weapon. It would be rude to take it from her. Um, and we're gonna stick it to Steve, dude. Look at that freaking increase, dude. Just like BAM! <laughs> Okay, and then what else does Steve need? So all three of those things, yeah. And then Thunder, Holy. I'm guessing that's Witches, Metal, and something? Thunder, Holy. Well, we have Holy. Witches? I'm pretty sure we had Witches, right? Yeah. Stick some, Stick a Mage Slayer on there. I do have a power up powder. I could like force the upgrade now, but we might as well wait. We just gotta make sure we don't let Steve break. That would be a bad time. Swap you with you. Okay. No, that's cool though, because that means like we can grind weapons with her, assuming we get more weapons, since she is like our best person to fight with. And then apply those upgrades to other people. Ooh, repair powder is actually super handy. Thank you for that game. Can't see. Thank you. Oh, Optijack, are you still there, my guy? You missed Persona 4 last night, dude. I enjoyed what I played of it. But just like Persona 3, it has, like, the world's slowest freaking intro, man. <laughs> the game, I feel like, just finally started. 
whenever I quit like two hours into it. Like, it is slow as balls. <laughs> but I did really enjoy what I played of it. And uh, it's on the list of games to, to finish, whether on stream or off, because yeah. Wait, did the... Okay, we don't have it equipped. And the steel ability did come over with it. Let's freaking go, dude. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn, I can only do paper. But me lose to him? Ha, huh, good one. Dude, Steve literally does talk to us. Like, what the hell? Oh, cool. Twitch went down. Good stuff. I mean, it should be back sooner or later. But you guys are going to miss Steve. I want to have a rosy life. Why? Why is this a thing? Why is there a freaking weapon that, that talks to us? That's so weird, dude. Who came up with this shit? As always, I guess I should double check and make sure it's not my internet. I don't think it is, but... You never know. It's a possibility. Oh, not speedrun.com. Well, I mean, websites are loading just fine, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just Twitch again. Okay, my download speed is surprisingly low. And my upload speed. They're both low for what I should be getting, but both more than fast enough for, for Twitch. Oh, and just like that. Look at it go. Okay, cool. Hopefully it hopefully it stays up this time. I mean, I don't think it's storming or anything out, so... I don't think we should have any internet problems today, but I guess it doesn't have to be storming for shit to go wrong. We got water? We do. Uh, might as well heal everybody in case they need it. Nope. And then back to Zhao, because she's the goat. So that looks like a sealed room. We can't get to there until we find some sort of item to open it. I don't know what kind of item we need to open things in this dungeon, but I'm sure we'll figure that out soon enough. What kind of creatures goo us? I don't think we've been gooed at all yet. Ah, uh, maybe once. But we're collecting a lot of soap from these sea creatures, so I'm wondering if something down here can goo us, or if they can goo us. Man, this game... Oh, don't walk into that. Oh, you're you're alive? I thought you were dead, dude. <laughs> Oops. There's the hook to get down to the next level. It's not quite what we're looking for, though. There we go. Ship cabin key. That's probably it. That's the thing we need, I'm sure. What's your favorite Persona game, my guy? Is it three or four? Or five, I guess. Because you've never played one or two, right? I don't think you have, at least. Throbbing cherry? I'll show you a throbbing cherry. Wink. Is it just me, or were we able to get, like, two shots off without spending a durability point? Maybe rapid fire is the way to go, man. Maybe I'm shooting too slow. Really curious what Super Steve does. This webpage probably has, like, the stats for all the different weapons and stuff, but... I don't want to look it up, you know? I want to be surprised by whatever we end up getting. We're definitely going to have to leave the dungeon after this floor, though, unless we suddenly get a crap ton of... Whatchamacallits? Um, repair powders, because there's only one repair powder left. I feel like that's going to be issues. Ooh, attack plus one, nice.
Dude, we're definitely getting like a couple of extra shots off for free. Now, is that just a Steve thing though? Or is that because of the rapid fire? I don't know. It might just be Steve has like enough durability that, or endurance rather, that it doesn't always cost one to make a shot. It's a very real possibility. I can't deny that. Wish there was like a run button, dude. Just some way to run around these ships a little bit quicker or these dungeons a little bit quicker. Or that we would just find the map sooner. Because, like, this is the start. We're running all the way back to the start to clear this last room. So then we can go all the way back. Not all the way to the end, I guess. But, like, halfway back to the end as far away as you can go. Because we didn't think to search this left side first. And there's so much shit in this left side. And before Mimic. Ooh. Oh, wind. Okay. I thought that was going to be like a gem or something. Something with monetary value. I mean, I guess gems do technically have monetary value. Just, you know, not as much as, say, fishing bait, oddly enough. That shit's expensive for some reason. I guess it'd be nice to go back up top to, stop, to start building. We've collected a fair bit of Atla as well. Never know what kind of useful things you're going to get from people. Or be able to steal from their houses. And I mean, now that the dungeon's clear, technically we could just escape that way too. But no. Because then we would have to re-clear this floor to get down to the next one. And running back we go. I don't know what it is. That tea just tastes more like full bodied today. It's got like a warmness to it. it. Doesn't taste quite as watered down. So I don't know what you did to it, but good job, Noodle. It's good tea. Hook, 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 hook. Catch the pulley. Use pulley. And then, no, leave dungeon. I can't wait to get my room set up. I'm super excited for it. That was one of the errands I did today. I was uh, going to, I went to a store to check and see like what kind of, what wood would cost and whatnot, basically. Uh, the only downside is my car is not nearly large enough to haul the wood. Because the desk is going to be like, seven foot by something i haven't really decided how because it's going to be an l-shaped desk so i haven't decided like after the l right it's going to be like seven foot across and then some distance along the other wall so i don't know how big that side's going to be but even if i cut it even if i decide to set it up in like the while making the boards as short as possible Excuse me, then I would still need to be able to fit at least like five foot and uh, to have it be one solid piece on top. And I didn't quite have enough clearance in my car. Um, and that's like if I cut it at the place and everything and it's just like, no. So <laughs> I got to wait until like next week to get the stuff. But then once I get the stuff, I'm going to try and get the desk built within the next week or two. And then I'll be moving everything in there. And I'm very excited for it, man. I can't wait to get into my own little area over there it's gonna be fantastic we should probably resort everything we have one extra stand in powder i mean 150 no i'm just like should we sell some of this stuff 
I mean, we never use the amulets, so screw it. Sell them. It would be nice to buy another gold bar, but we also need to buy repair powder. Because I really don't want to go down into the dungeon with this much money on me. How much will the bomb nuts sell for? 45? 30? 50? 60? Um, how much were you? 45? Screw it. Soap and cheese. There we go. Now we have another gold bar. Now we just need to figure out how we can store stuff in this town. Maybe that'll be one of the first shops that we open. Or not shops, but one of the first, like, people's houses that we finish. We should probably also search this now that we've cleared a couple of rooms. Just to make sure nothing popped up for us to steal. Kind of forgot that was a, a thing, to be honest. Doesn't look like it, though. I still don't 100% understand the rules uh, as far as, like, where and when things spawn. Okay, so we can't do anything out here. I guess we have to actually walk into the town first. This is a big, empty area for just nothing. Oh, it's actually a loading zone. Okay, yeah, that makes sense why well, we can't do anything out here then. Which also probably means that boxes don't spawn out here i'm guessing shit i didn't mean to uh, i didn't mean to go back through the loading zone that sucks oh that's another thing we should do we should save i always forget about saving it's a very important part of any game but my memory is just <laughs> nope Save complete. Sick. Okay. And then menu. Config and assembly. So we have a fountain. We have some trees. And a road. So can we put trees along like here at all? No. So we can only build in these like big open areas. We can't build on the platforms at all. Well then let's focus instead of on the trees... Oh, I was going to say let's focus on people's houses, but I guess we don't actually have any houses yet. Well, shoot. We have all these people, but like <laughs> nowhere to put them. Okay, uh, fountain. I feel like the fountain should be kind of central. One, two. One, two. Okay, yeah, so that was centered right here. It looks centered on the door, so sure. It can go there. Filled with water. Supports the building, so that'd be this. And then... Chimney, annex room, lamp, sign, sunshade, bicycle. So nothing. Road. Door. I can go like that and then oh we can't have like road straight out of that one what about this one up here we can but it's right up against the wall okay I don't know what we're going to do with the road yet trees maybe trees can go along the side of this road and then I guess people just have to walk through the trees and get to their houses and things around here look I don't know man Maybe put Sure, they can go there for now. I feel like that's a terrible spot for it, and I'm gonna wanna move it, but for now I guess it can go there. It's a pretty fountain. It'll be nice once it starts like spewing water and things. Can we throw change into it? Make a wish? Oh, can we fast travel back down to the to the dungeon of this one? We can. Shipwreck, let's go. Yes, continue, please. Man. 
Level three. There's only two at level in this one. It's a small level, dude. So using a weapon reduces ABS. Weapons can't be changed either. That's freaking gross, man. Um. And Steve only needs two more to level up. And we can't change her weapon, right? Bruh. Fuck it. Upgrade Steve. Sure, it sucks to, like, use it up when she only needed two more levels, but I don't want to have to redo all that grinding for nothing. Okay, so Steve needs attack, MP, thunder, holy, witch, metal, n ghost. Attack, MP. Attack, MP, MP. There we go. Alright, so now we can use Steve and we don't really have to worry about, like, Steve running out of all of the, the experience points that we spent the entire last dungeon giving him. Also, I just realized we still don't know what the MP is for, do we? We have we've never had to use MP for anything. Build up to a goddess ring, fire ice, something something. What's a goddess ring? Oh, you got the hard eyes back? I don't know why you hate the hard eyes so much. I don't feel like they're that bad. Sure, they're not like my absolute favorite or anything, but I don't think they're terrible. Look at her mouth too. Oh, she's got the stitched mouth. It's fine. She's like Halloween themed, you know? That's all. Uh, we need a switch. Meh. <laughs> Rude. She wouldn't say that about you. Is your tea good? Yeah, I was talking about it. It's much better than usual. Like, I mean, I usually like it, but it just tastes extra good today. Not sure why or what you did differently or whatever, but it's good stuff. Thank you. Oh. I wish I had some of my green tea, though. It's regular milk. I don't think that's why it tastes different, though. I mean, it could be. It just tastes more like full-bodied than usual so I mean maybe that's because of the milk but I don't know it's definitely a possibility I'm not gonna deny that just like I can't really even taste the milk per se it's just like there's just more tea coming through. It tastes less watered down and more just... More just flavorful. That was the flapping fish. Fresh fish, they will spoil unless kept on ice. Your green tea like the Lipton? Yeah, the bottles of tea. I just like... I'm very tired, so I just wanted something with a little bit of caffeine in it, but obviously not like... Not like a cup of coffee or anything like that, because, yeah, I don't drink that much caffeine. Oh. Oh, that's the exit. Okay. They have half decaf pods? I mean, yeah, they do, but that's still, like, three bottles of that Lipton D that I drink. Because a bottle of tea only has like 15 to 20 milligrams of caffeine. A half calf coffee would have about 40. 40 to like 60. Somewhere between there. Get back to the other way, I guess. Can't go this way. I 
I do hope if they ever remake these games, they'll add some nice quality of life stuff, like automatically switching characters to open Atla or to go over obstacles like that. It's not like it's that big of a deal to do it, it's just, why make me do it? Thankfully, her zones seem to be much more common than the other dudes. And we just happen to, like, use her more than we do the other dudes, so... Kind of works out for us, honestly. The purple face thing just isn't working for me. Do they have a purple face? Oh, nice. So that'll get us down, but where's the... Where's the key? It must be in this chest? Oh, no, wait. There's two more chests in the next room. It could be any of these three chests. Or two of them could be mimics. There's a strong possibility of that, too, of course. Hmm. <sighs> Don't mind me. I'm just slowly dying over here. Hey, there's our key. I'm really surprised we've gotten so lucky with mimics, man. Maybe there just aren't mimics on the shipwreck. I suppose that's just as possible as anything else. We can only go by like the evidence that we've seen so far, and all evidence is pointing to mimics don't exist in this area. Should put that on my mug warmer to keep it hot but the effort it's like it's all the way over there and i can't like lean back and reach it the way i am right now so it's fine we'll just drink some lukewarm soon to be cold tea no 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 jump It's rude that they would give us not only a curse floor, but a curse floor that only has two Atla on it. It's so tempting to just, like, skip this thing instead of running all the way back over here to collect the one thing and then run all the way back. But I can't just not finish the zone. Like, we have to collect everything that's obvious and easy to collect. Oh, buddy. I can't wait to give Dark Cloud 2 a try. Like a proper try, a longer try. Obviously, we played a little bit of it, I don't know, months ago. Oh, no. We're gooey. So the curse rose gooify us, huh? I mean, if all it does is make us move slower, we could just deal with it, but, like, we might as well use some soap. We keep getting soap as a drop from enemies, and we've never used soap before, so fuck it. We'll just use some soap, dude, and get ourselves all cleaned up and get the goo off of us. More road. Did we collect any houses here? Or no, there was only the two Atla, huh? I don't remember what the other one was, but no. Um, actually, your weapon's pretty close to leveling up too, right? Well, like halfway. So no, I don't really want to use you either. So just back to Zhao then, dude. The goat. Roses were my mother's favorite. What is Super Steve, man? Is he like a dude that was cursed into being a weapon? A slingshot? Or does he actually come from, like, a family of slingshots? Did he have a mother and father slingshot? What happens when a mother and father slingshot love each other very much? How do they... How do they have a child? These are the questions that keep me up at night. How does slingshot on slingshot action work? 
I need to know. It feels very important to me for some reason. Okay. I still don't want to. Oh shit! I just used the bread for no reason. Go down the thing, dude. Um. The, the fish is what I was going to say. I don't 100% know what the fish is for. So I think I'm just going to take it to the shop and see if we can sell it. Because it says something about it going rotten if we don't keep it on ice, right? And presumably once it rots, we wouldn't be able to really get any money for it or do anything with it. So maybe if we just like sell it now, we'll be okay. It's only worth 90. Fuck it though, sell it. It's better than having it go bad on us. 577. Um, I don't know. We learned last time like how useful bombs actually are. It costs more money, but for inventory purposes, I'm so tempted to just get a bunch of the mighty healing. Do we have any antidotes? Oh, they're in our hot bar. Um, I need a pillow. Do I have a pillow? Hold on. I'm going to check and see if I have, like, a comfy pillow to put behind my head. We haven't needed water in a long time, but it sells for, like, nothing. Mm, fuck it. I guess we keep what we have and then just buy some more repair powder. Never have too much repair powder. For a second, I thought we bought a bunch of the wrong kind of powder. I was going to be so <laughs> mad at myself, but no, we good. I, yeah, no, I'm going to grab a little pillow so I can, like, lay my head back, man. It's the, I, it's fine. I won't fall asleep. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, God. All that stuff. The PS, PlayStation, and Ape Escape and stuff's over there. like a pillow meant for a chair but like it's a pillow though that should work maybe maybe not we'll see yeah i could just get like a chair pillow like buy one i've never like leaned my head back though is that comfortable i can't i can't decide if this is comfortable or not actually i don't know this is not this is not the sort of thing that I normally do. Never like laid back on my chair before. This is why this is why I need my room, man, with the futon. So I can just like that's not big enough. Need to fold it like will it fold in four? There we go. Is that too much? Ah! Haha! -ha. <laughs> I still haven't decided if this is actually comfortable or not, but we're going for it, man. Oh yeah, let's leave. Can we... Georama parts, that's what I wanted to see. Did we get... We did Rusty Store. Wait, there's two different stores? Here? Slot for a character. Peppy Girl. Jack, Jake, Wilder. Sam. So no, we don't have her yet. World with Produce has to be fresh. So there's really no point in putting the store up then. We don't have any of the stuff to put in it yet. What else did we unlock? Mm. Nothing important looking, at least. Ah! Um, hello? We can just teleport back. We're not going to worry about, like, the Georama parts right now. We don't... It's just, like, if we can't complete anything, then what's the point, right? It's just going to be an empty building sitting there. 
so screw it. We'll just ignore it for now. Ignore Rusty's shop. I wonder if they actually sell like produce, like food stuff. Cause they have like the produce carts. I ran right past that chest, dude. I was looking at the mini map. Ah! You're not a cart or a, a cart. You're not a chest. Back, dick. I'm gonna hit you. Damn mimic. All right, so our hypothesis was incorrect. Turns <laughs> turns out there are mimics on shipwreck ships. Shipwreck ship? Capsize ships? No, shipwreck ships. I think that's that's right, right? I'm sure. Yeah. No, it's fine. Dead end. We need to get more weapons for her so that we can just upgrade more of her weapons. Like turn them into synth spheres. So that we can upgrade other people's stuff. God. Hey, water surface. Okay, I'm assuming water surface, that would be the thing for um, the fountain, right? I mean, it's still not enough to complete it because we needed. I don't remember. We needed we needed water, and then we needed something else too. Where I cannot remember what the other thing was now, but there was definitely another thing that we needed. I mean, and the the set pieces like fountains and things don't usually do anything for us. I think it's just a place for chest to collect I think uh, walk on please thank you grab the hook we definitely need the hook we literally can't leave without that well okay we can't continue without that we can leave the level but what's the point of that without going up to the next one. Another sign. Give me some more buildings, dude. Or a, a peppy girl. I'm assuming the peppy girl's name is Rusty. Oh, shit. Now look, there's a pad here. Watch it be a bad one though, man. And not like a stamina one. Oh, no, okay. More stamina on our weapon. Never mind, that was a good one. I was expecting since we actually found it at like a reasonable point in the dungeon instead of super late in the dungeon, I was just automatically like, expecting it to be something bad instead of anything useful. Damn, dude, we killed that mimic quick with this thing. Steve is where it's at, dude. Steve OP. Me golden. All 11 of it. Many thank. Why do some of these dudes take so many hits while others take next to nothing? I'm pretty sure they're the same creature, right? Alright, I'm gonna fix the weapon now before I forget. And lose Steve. Steve's the one dude we cannot lose, man. Steve is love, Steve is life. Ooh, holy water, that's a new drop for us. Come on, Peppy, or Rusty. I'm assuming her name's Rusty. Push cart, fish. Okay, no, that's probably part of the shop. Fish is a type of produce, right? And it's a cart, nonetheless. Another push cart fish. Is she just a fish dealer? <laughs> Rusty, I... 
I was assuming, you know, like produce produce from the short description we got of what we need. But I guess I could be mistaken. fresh fish. Would she have given us, like, more money for that fish that we sold to the other dude? Then she's, like, a fish merchant? I don't know if it works that way. Regardless, though, if we kept a hold of it, it probably would have just spoiled before we could have gotten it to her. So, never mind. Probably doesn't matter. Ooh, petite fish. I'm pretty sure that's bait. So that should sell for something decent. Freaking mimics, bro. Okay. Oh, I was so worried that I was going to swing with it again because this thing would have broke if I did, man. And I wouldn't really care because it's such like a basic shit weapon. But it has a synth sphere applied to it and I don't want to waste a synth sphere on nothing on a, on a broken weapon. But yeah, see, like, hitting these plants only costs us one, so it, it has to have something to do with what kind of creature you're fighting, how much their defense is or something. The sheriff's office. We do have the sheriff, so that's the first person I think we can revive. Ooh. Okay, well, we found out it doesn't really matter who opens it. Oh, it's this dude. Okay, what did we do last time? I think we did big box last time, right? I think. So we should do small box this time, assuming that it persists between like turning the console off and on, which I have no idea if it does. People don't even know for sure if it matters like at all, if you can do the switching back and forth between the two boxes things. It's just like speculation in the community that it seems to switch between the two back and forth. So, screw it. Small box. Turquoise. Okay, so that <laughs> that probably wasn't the good one. So, if we assume that wasn't the good one, then that means we need to... Use the small one again if we get another one in the same session. What does the turquoise even do? Gives ice. Okay. Um. I guess it doesn't really matter what I give you. Let's just give you some of the stuff that we have a lot of. Give right now fire. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do that. Whatever. That seems fine to me. 35 of 58. Not quite to the point that we can upgrade it. Still have still have a bit farther to go on that one. We do the next floor or do we go build the sheriff's house? I think we just go ahead and build the next floor. We have the repair powder. We have food. We have drink. I don't see any reason not to just go down to the next floor right now. And to go back up to the top. The only reason would be like if there's a new shop. But as far as I know, we didn't collect a peppy girl named Rusty. Or, I mean, like, the sheriff probably doesn't really do anything for us. Maybe he works as storage? We can only use Zhao. That is actually fine. It sucks that we won't be getting any Atla from this floor. But, like, Zhao's my preferred person to play as anyway, so... And we already got the hook. Um, okay, so since we already got the hook, this is now just a grinding slash... weapon like finding floor because since we can't ever find atla on one of these restricted floors at least like character restricted floors 
then there's really nothing keeping us here except for the possibility of a big chest with a weapon or another jester. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess we can grind this stuff. We have the repair powder, so we might as well we get more levels on our on our gear. We could use this opportunity to try and grind like one of the shittier weapons get the synth sphere so that before we upgrade this we could apply a synth sphere to it that's not a terrible idea actually yeah let's do that weapon oh we only have one it's the steel slingshot um i mean fuck it whatever Oh man, it is so much worse. <laughs> it's amazing like how much worse it is than the than, than Steve. Oh. Like it's fine because we can still just dodge people and stuff, just stay away from them. But my god, look at how many shots it takes, man. It does like a quarter of the damage that the other one does. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Steel Slingshot is one of, like, the most shitty basic types of weapons. I would have been so mad if it randomly took two for some reason there. It'd be really nice if we got experience per shot instead of per enemy kill. There's another there person hiding back here is it a plant no it's the gunny uh okay we will kill it but we're switching back to steve first they just have way too much defense to even want to mess around with it with the uh the steel slingshot the shitty sink slot it's just like using synth spheres always seems like a good idea if you can, because even though we only get 60% of it, look how much more endurance and speed we'll get. And then even attack. Like, the only downside is, I guess, is that nothing has, like, MP, and we do need more MP. But by using 60%, that would be the same as getting, like, a... I mean, 50% would be 7, so, like, 8 or 9 attack thingies. Which you just... Like, the highest I've ever seen is 2 or 3. So yeah, I feel like we shouldn't really be upgrading Steve unless we're applying synth spheres to him. Unless, like, everything's maxed out outside of, you know, the thunder, holy, whatever it is that we need to, to build Steve up to Super Steve. So for all these basic dudes, screw it, man. I'm gonna trade repair powder for weapon levels. It'd be really nice if we could find more of the... Whatchamacallits, the, the level up powder, whatever it's called. Okay, well, we know that Steve needs MP, but I guess we should remember that anything we put on this one, we're only going to get 60% of it on Super Steve. You don't have any attribute right now, though. Does this give us ice attributes? Screw it. Give us, give us ice. And, um... Do we have sea creatures? The sea killer. I mean, no upgrade's really a bad upgrade because we just get to keep everything anyways. 60% of it at least. I was really hoping that those upgrades would help a little bit here. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know how much damage we were doing before, but 14 still isn't an amazing number. Where's the... There we go. In the water. Free drink, free heal. Yes, please. Bunch of chests over here. And before half of them are mimics. Uh, 
Rose. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, man. Holy shit. It's like on a personal level, I am tired as balls. I didn't sleep particularly well last night because I had to pee really, really bad. I woke up at like nine in the morning or something, which, yeah, sure. For a normal person, that sounds like not such a bad time. But the thing to remember is I don't go to bed until like somewhere between four and six in the morning usually. So I got like three or four hours of sleep, woke up, and then tried to go and take a nap. And I did get a little bit of one, but it was only like an hour or so. It wasn't a particularly good one, sadly. So I'm just like fighting for my life over here right now, dude. Damn you, Mimic. Stop jumping my shots. Makes me waste more repair powder, dude. We should probably check. Oh, you bastard. Can we click on it, please? We should probably check the, the B-side thing to see what it is we need this time. So all I remember is last dungeon, we thought we were never getting the thing to go to the B-side, and it turns out we were getting it all along, and I just didn't realize that the freaking do seed or whatever the hell it was called was used for that. Alright, fix it. Which repair powder do we have left? We still have five. We're, we're doing fine. This mimics eat through a lot of it though, because we're missing constantly. Is this going to be another mimic? Please don't be. Thank goodness. Give me water. Well... When every other floor has a water trough, whatever you want to call it, it seems a little pointless to get water. It's filling with water. Am I hearing things? I hear something like whistling. Use items with square? What would we need? Petite fish. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't think we have any way of going to the B side in this dungeon. Oh, man. Mm, so sorry. I'm dying a little bit. we clear the last room or did we just leave? I think we cleared the last room. There's only one person left in two chests. Like, it'd feel like a waste to not clear the dungeon now that we've done everything else. Once again, makes me wish that we had the map early on though, so that we could just go the right way to clear everything. Instead of the, the constant searching back and forth. There's another big chest. I kind of hope for a jester again, man. Oh, wait. No, we haven't been in this room before, right? I remember like skipping one of these dudes and saying they weren't worth it. Or no, we ended up switching to the other weapon. That's what happened. We ended up switching to the bandit slingshot and just using that to kill it. It's probably what we should have done here, but too late. He dead. Hey, ABS is full. Cool. That's what we've been waiting for. Um, upgrade. Yes. Thing shot level one. Customize. Let's give you. Um. Guess we don't have anything really good, huh? What? And what all does Steve need? Attack, MP, Holy Thunder, Witch. Back MP, Holy Thunder, which we have Holy. Though, again, applying it directly would be much better. Unless this gives, like, a lot of points in Holy. It only gives three. So we'd probably get two per instead of three per. Is it worth it? I don't know that it is. Putting random stuff on it then. We'll call it a day. Potato cake, that's uh that's a sellable. Or king mimic. I guess it could also be a king mimic. Nope, we're good. Uh force the chest open. Must be an explosion. Give us another Steve, dude. A sandbreaker. So that's probably another weapon for him. 
it is. Wait, Made of Desert Stand absorbs water? So it has a special ability, but what's that do? Do we just randomly get water or do, maybe it like refills our, our thirst while we're using it? It's gonna do something just now. Oh. No? I don't know what I was gonna do. It's fine, whatever. We'll pretend like I have any idea what the hell's going on and just move on with our lives. Ugh. Wakey, wakey, I'm dying. We have the hook, right? Yeah, hook him. Damn it. Upper level, um, straight two. Let's leave the dungeon temporarily. We're not even gonna, like, do anything. We're just gonna save. I guess we can sell some shit real quick, actually. See if we have enough to get a gold bar, just in case we end up dying. Getting rid of some, some things would be handy. Getting rid of things and buying a gold bar. We really don't need this much soap. Rival powder is good. Repair powder is really good. We can sell the potato cake. That's a thousand. Teeth fish. That's got to be another thing. I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, fishing bait. The petite fish. It has to be another fishing bait. I'm pretty much positive of it. That is an active item. Oh. So does it only work if it's active at the time? Not if it's in our inventory. Did not know that. Hold on. I gotta stretch a little bit. Oh. Take my glasses off. Yeah, my glasses just fell. God damn it. Okay. Oh, man. Pillow wasn't a bad idea, but I don't think it's helping me, like, stay awake, so... Yeah, around the blue screen. Okay. I gotta grab my glasses, so otherwise I ain't gonna be able to see shit here. Just don't run over the glasses. That'd be a bad time. Glasses acquired. Did not crush. Very proud. Of myself for not crushing my glasses. We don't even have enough for, like, the mighty healing. So that'd be, like, my next option of just, like, a thing to buy. We have... If we sell that, and then that. There we go. Buy a Mighty Healing. Start slowly swapping out, like, all of the, the antidotes and things with Mighty Healings. And then... Item... If we need... Wait, is there no way to, like... Quickly take this stuff out. I'll remove everything. There we go. Because if this needs to be the auto repair powder, needs to be set as an active item, then yeah, we're definitely going to use up a slot for that. That's that's worth it. Everything else, though, I think is probably fine the way it is. For me, at least, like I think poison is the most annoying status effect anyway, so we might keep a hold of some antidotes. This is a cheaper way to deal with with being poisoned. I don't quite remember what curse does. I guess it's possible curse is actually worse, but but I can't comment on it because I just I don't remember it, man, to be honest. Level six. Oh, wait. 
Oh, that was the Zhao level. I was like, why was level five empty? There was nothing there? I'm tired, tired boys. Oh, I just realized Optijack never put his votes on anything, but I don't think he's here. I think when Twitch went down, I think uh, it closed out and he hasn't come back. Also, did my game just crash? I think my game just crashed, dudes. Son of a bitch. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I guess. I guess I'm glad. <laughs> it's a good thing that we just saved, is what I was trying to say. And this gives me a reason to get up, I guess. We're going to take a quick break, and I'm going to, like, reset the PlayStation, and uh, hopefully the game doesn't crash again. So, excuse me, BRB. And there we are. Let's get started, shall we? That's why you have me. Not for hard mode, not bad. Was it hard mode that we were playing on, or just normal? Did we go straight to hard? I honestly can't remember. We can change difficulty, like, in the middle of the game, though, right? Like, because, <laughs> like, I could see it being a, a little, a little too much at points, maybe. I guess that's a uh, TBD, TB, to be determined. Love that music. It is really good. The music and visual design of the game are A+. Plus. Really, really good. Uh, if I remember correctly, we pick up the book. Yes, Gwendolyn, Chapter 2, Act 3, The Elrit Forest. We have a total of 9 gold. We're level 9 cypher, level 8 HP. Okay. I did choose hard, and yes, yes, you can. Excellent. <laughs> That's good. That's really good news. <laughs> Uh, yes, read the Valkyrie. I am exhausted today, man. I don't know what it is. But I am just tired. That's why I was late. I was downstairs, I was half asleep on the couch. <laughs> Thankfully, I wasn't actually, like, asleep asleep. I was just, like, watching YouTube, uh, half asleep. Get reacquainted with the controls real quick. It has been about a week since we played... Ugh. Or a couple weeks, maybe. Uh, also, there's bees. All right. Game's been reset. Or, well, console's been reset. Hopefully, it saved okay and everything. It should have. Imagine if it didn't, though, man. We're going to have a bad, bad time. Like, <laughs> now, We've only cleared a couple of floors since the time before that that we saved. It should be fine. I'm sure everything's great. My controller's still on. It is. Cool. Chocobo, hello, sir. I'm so glad you're here. I'm, f I'm falling asleep. <laughs> Honestly, like, I was considering getting off early. And then I was like, oof. But if I do that, Chocobo will lose his streak and I'll feel bad. Um, <laughs> just because I'm falling asleep again. I did, uh, I did not sleep too well last night. As per usual, and yeah. Can we actually go on this ship? I guess we didn't try to do that. Nope. So considerate of a streak. Well, I mean, I don't want to, like, make people lose their streak, man. That's rude. I wonder how, like, Twitch handles streaks if, say... Is it just, like... I wonder if it's a daily streak, I guess, is what I was getting to. Because, like... Say I start up a stream, right? But then... I have to end it in like 10 minutes because my internet goes out or something. But then I start up another one after like an hour of troubleshooting the internet or some shit like that. Does Twitch count that as losing your streak or do you still get to keep the streak because you joined the the next stream? The stream like after the internet was fixed. I have no idea how that works, but I'm very curious. Yeah, let's try this again. Hopefully it loads this time. Okay. I was worried it was like a problem with my disc or something and like it was just broke, but no, we good. Aw, 
Oh, we got good. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking up top there. Are we... We're using the right weapon, right? Yeah. Why is it, like, so bad right now? Put another plant killer on it. Also, another thing that I just thought of. Yeah, it has ice now. Give it, give it the ice attack. Ice probably isn't, like, particularly strong against the creatures down here or anything, but... But it's got to be better than nothing. I mean, I guess unless, like, they're actually resistive to it... Then I guess it wouldn't be a good thing at all. Man, I really did forget, like, just how bad this this slingshot is. Maybe maybe the enemies just got, like, a power-up because we went down another level? Because, like, it didn't seem this bad on the last level. It was bad, but it wasn't ungodly bad like that. Unless we were fighting the, the crab people. It was pretty bad fighting the crab people, but they have a high defense. Yeah, no, I think they just have more health now. Son of a bitch. Always gotta get harder, man. Never gets easier. Oh, you're new? Okay, maybe we do need to buy more repair powder. God damn. Repair powder. We have the auto repair powder equipped, so it should do its thing if we accidentally mess up. And for that reason, I'm a little more comfortable letting it get, like, lower than normal. But auto repair powder is a lot more expensive than regular repair powder. So still going to try not to use that instead. A gooey peach? What is a gooey peach? Have we gotten one of those before? Creates a gooey attack. Yeah, okay, I guess so. While we're in here, we have three more repair powders. If we... After we use the next repair powder, we might want to switch to a better weapon. To the, uh, to Steve. Just so that we don't keep going through the repair powder so freaking quickly, man. Otherwise, there's a real possibility we've run out on this level. Minus the auto repair stuff. Jump. Mimic? No mimic. Repair powder? Map. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so from the looks of it... We probably should have went the other way first, but my luck if I go the other way, we're not going to have the key to get through the door down there. So we might as well finish up this level first. Wish we had some sort of like charged attack with her or something, just some way to do more damage. Damn, I'm gonna drink. Oh, damn, dude. Yeah, there we go. That's like doubling our damage. Hell yeah. And it also, I just realized, like, greatly increased our speed as well. Our rate of attack. Okay, so stamina drinks actually pretty good. Paragon. Imagine how good, like, an actual useful weapon would be if we had used the stamina powder with it. Still looking for Rusty? Or Peppy Girl? I'm assuming her name's Rusty, though. Hey, there we go. Are Ruddy? Rudy? Maybe I misread whose house it was. Whatever. But I think that's her. 
And I think we have the two carts for her shop, so we might actually be able to open another shop when we get back to town, which is pretty cool. Maybe they'll sell another weapon. It'd be nice if somebody sold weapons, even if it was just like basic weapons. It'd be nice to just have somebody that sells stuff, you know? So that we're not forced to rely completely on the extremely crappy base weapons that all the characters get. If we should run out of... Run out of weapons for some reason. Like if we accidentally let them all break or... If we just want weapons to grind up more levels with or whatever. Oh, did our stamina wear out? It did. Son of a bitch. Alright, try to kill this dude, but after this dude's dead, I think we're gonna have to go back to our other weapon. Steve. How close are we to leveling up? 32 out of 50, though. That's annoying. Maybe we'll get really lucky and get a, uh... Oh, wait. I wonder... Okay, hold on. So, Steve's at 76. This is at 32. Equip Steve. Is it gonna die? One more hit? Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. We can't do it yet. I was gonna I was gonna try to just like whittle down their health using Steve and then switch to to the steel slingshot for the kill. Because I think it's just the kill that actually gives experience for the weapons. So in theory we could use like any weapon and then finish it off with with the one that we wanna grind on. We'll try it again whenever we come across the next weapon up here. Weapon? The next character. Ha! Ah, the next enemy up here. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, I'm, I am struggling. Standing up for a minute helped me wake up a little bit, but I'm still... Not here right now, dude. We still have Steve equipped? I think we do. Yes, yes we do. Look at that, a fish with legs? I didn't see what it said. Something. Same, honestly? Bro, I have no idea. Like, I don't know if it's the weather or what. I mean, again, granted, like I mentioned earlier, I did not sleep well last night. 32 out of 50, okay. I need to check that before he died. Um, But, like, I did get a small nap today. Yeah, 36! So that is totally how it works. Sick, okay. So we can grind weapons without wasting a crap ton of repair powder. I like it. It's just a little more involved. Nope. And... Bam. Bye. <laughs> That was close. I almost did too much. Too many shots. Get right. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> we did so little damage it didn't even die. I thought for sure with how small that bar was, it was just gonna take one more shot. Uh okay, so we need to repair Steve and the steel slingshot. Now this dungeon's almost over though, so I think it's fine if we do both. I think, yeah, it should be okay. There can't be that many enemies left in this dungeon. There's only, what, two rooms left? And now that we're using Steve again, it won't take up that much stamina to kill one dude. Speaking of, though, I need to switch back to Zhao. And equip Steve. This really does make it, like, much more annoying. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. 
Twitch is down again! Yay! Uh. I really need to remember to start checking what server's best server again before I stream like I used to do. I just I don't think about it. Like it, Twitch had been doing such a good job at not being trash for so long that I just kind of forgot that that was something that I needed to be doing. <laughs> but like, now that it's acting up again, it's like, damn, dude. It's too bad you can't change like in the middle of a stream, which server you're streaming to. It makes sense why you can't. That would be a nightmare to handle on their end, I'm sure. But like, damn, dude. <laughs> that was too many. I wonder, I wonder if it's the weapon that actually gets the killing shot. Or if it's just whichever weapon is equipped whenever they die. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Because it seems to like take a second for things to actually die, right? After you... After you hit them. So I'm wondering if you just switch weapons super quick. Oh. If it would, you know... If it would be okay. Ooh, bone slingshot. I don't know what level of weapon that is. For her, but it's it's another weapon for her, nonetheless. Attack 8, endurance 20, speed 58. So it's kind of trash. I'm guessing it's another level 1 weapon. I mean, I guess it's another thing we can just try and level up to feed into whatchamacallit, though. To feed into Steve. God damn it, dude. Oh, is this, like, stunning because it's a frozen tuna? Is it, like, applying a freeze effect? Oh shit, that's right, I'm out of repair powder. Kind of forgot about that. Um, wrong person. Zhao. And you have Steve equipped, you do. <gasps> Shit! Weapon. Aha! It freaking worked, dude! Imagine that. Yeah, so we just switched to the steel slingshot quickly enough. So that, like, we were holding the steel slingshot whenever the enemy technically died. So it got the, the XP, not the... Not uh, Steve, which even though Steve, like, did the final hit on the enemy. Bro, where did that go? I had a feeling it might work, but I was like, no, like, it won't work, right? But dude, <laughs> it freaking did. That's great. So we don't need to use a shitty weapon at all to grind with. We can use good weapons exclusively. We just have to quickly switch weapons before before the enemy actually like dies. That's hilarious to me. Oh. <sighs> cool, we got the thingy just in time to tell us that everything's been cleared. Perfect. Uh <laughs> We have stuff equipped to you. We do upgrade you again. Yes. Nice. And then... I don't know. Um, wind, fire, ice. Um, Metal breaker. Or no, you know what? East buster? Mimic breaker. Mimic Breaker. We'll put Mimic on you, and then we're fighting a lot of plants, so let's put plants on you, too. There we go. Now down to the next one. And we're leaving anyways. Okay, it's fine. I was gonna switch to Steve before I forgot. I guess I still could, but whatever. Doesn't really matter. 
hopefully, like, whenever I get to the next floor, I'm gonna shoot somebody, because I'll probably forget, and then, and then I'll shoot somebody, see, like, how little damage it's doing, and then I'll remember to switch back to Steve, so either way, like, we're gonna, we're gonna get back to Steve, it's fine. Oh my god, dude, go cross the thing. Having your interact button and your fire button on the same button whatever that that's english it works it, it's <laughs> kind of dumb that's all i was trying to say jesus man i'm dying here didn't didn't goro or whatever his name and take a hit he did he's better now did you take any hits no but you were a little thirsty speaking of thirsty where's t t t t t t Ah, tea all gone. Thank you again, Noodle, if you can hear. For the tea. Mm, hook. Use pulley. And then we also need to go back to town now. Not only to buy more repair powder, um, but also because we might be able to open the next shop, maybe? I'm very curious what they're going to sell. Can I shop here? I would like to buy things, but first... Gooey Peach, take this. Did she give me 40? Whatever, don't care. Just take it. Um, screw it, I'm selling a couple antidotes. And... I'm keeping the bombs, though. We probably don't need five stand-in powder, but we already have them. Sell that. Sell the cricket. It's not enough to buy more gold. But we can buy... A bunch of repair powder, though. And then... Another heal-all. And sell those. And we're so close to another heal all. Screw it. Sell two more antidotes. There. Still gonna keep at least one antidote around. Honestly, I'd rather keep more than one antidote around, but it was bugging me that we were so close to buying another heal all, but not quite there. So, like, screw it. Buy the shit and be over. And get it over with. It's just money at the end of the day. I'm sure we don't need the money for anything. Uh, Jirama menu, config assembly, Rudy's store. Mm, I feel like the store would go like over here by the fountain, you know, in this kind of district. Does it just go right behind the store, or what's it like if we rotate it? I don't know how many buildings we're going to end up needing. I guess we can move stuff if we need to, but I kind of like it there. Joker's house. Okay, well, the houses kind of want to put in a separate district. Lee, hello! Man, it annoys me that we can't get any closer to, like, the wall back here than that. Look at all that empty space back there, man. Like, it won't let us get any closer. Okay, remove all those trees, though. Hmm. Water. Tasty. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very tired. Don't mind me. King's hideout. What's it? Okay, it's just another house. Well, since I have the entrance for that one on this side, we should probably put the entrance for that one on that side, too. And then... Sheriff's office? Keeps order in the town? I feel like... Would the sheriff's office go in the same... Like, in the... This is a residential district in my head, right? So I feel like maybe the sheriff's office should go over here somewhere. Maybe like this back corner. 
Or do we just put it, like, right there on the other side of the fountain? <laughs> now Rudy's store looks so lame in comparison, though, next to this fountain and then this slightly larger building, but whatever. And that's everything there. So, Rudy, 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 Rudy. You can go here, and then is it the, f the fish carts? It is the fish carts. Sick. Okay. Let's figure out what else you need, but hold on. Actually, I'm dumb, because we also have the sheriff's office over here. Sam, righteous sheriff with a great mustache. And then somebody aspiring to be... Knife-wielding weapon shopkeeper. Huh. I mean, okay. They did say this is like a merchant town, so I guess that makes sense. That there's a bunch of different uh, shops here, but like, are do they all actually work? Is that this? Criminals are held here. Yeah, that makes sense. And then water for the fountain. And I just don't know what that is. Water comes out from here. Hmm. Okay, well, we don't have anything for that yet, but that's fine. Walking mode. Okay. Rudy, hello. What else do you need for your shop? Hey, brother. You're not from this town. Good to meet you. I'm Rudy. I own a fish store. I'm not open for business yet, though. Um, Any requests for rebuilding Queens? It'd be nice to be somewhere where it's convenient to carry fish from the port. Yeah, I don't think it actually matters where I put you, so like... I'm just gonna leave you where you are. I have three fish baskets. You thought it was two, didn't ya? Don't forget now. Wait. Three fish baskets? Does that mean you need another cart? Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. So we can't open her store yet. That's lame. What can we do for the sheriff, though? Ooh. Chest. Oh, there was a chest over here, too, that I completely missed. Give me. Oh, it's just bread, though. Lame. With the bread from, like, the fish market, would it taste fishy? Or is it... I don't know. It's probably fine. Hmm, I've never seen you before. Are you from another town? We're from No Rune Village. I have a relative living there. I'll tell you about it some other time. My name is Wilder. I'm the Sheriff of Queens. If you need something, you can ask me anytime. I always help the citizens. Uh, Do you need anything for your place? No, this town appears to be peaceful. Crimes occur. I need at least two prisons. Huh! Okay, fine. I guess we can't do anything here yet either, then. Besides collecting his shit. Um, where's the deputy, though? Maybe he's inside? Hello, deputy. Hi, you don't look like you're from around here, but this is a good town, so make yourself at home. My name is Sam. I'm Sheriff Wilder's assistant. Good to meet you. Uh, do you need anything for your place? Patrol bicycle. I think we might have a bike, actually. Can I go in here? No. And then the gourd gives us, what, more water? Which I don't think any of our characters need right now. Are they balanced? Yeah, everybody's balanced. So we don't really need the gourd right now. Where'd the gourd go? There it is. Uh, I guess we can just hold on to it until we get the next character, though. Base damage to an enemy. This is max health. Okay, I don't like you being at 130, so you can have it. <laughs> There's no other reason than I didn't like the number he was sitting at. I would much rather have him on 150, actually, but... I don't have another gourd. And I feel like Zhao needs some love, even though it's unlikely for her to take hits. Still, though. All right. Well, that's everything here. So now, can we do anything over here? We need who? King and Joker stuff. Did we put King and Joker in their buildings yet? We did not. Do we have them? We do have Joker. And then we have Jack. So we don't have King yet. Wait, and then... Not you. Where are you? Bicycle. So it's just... Just another prison. Lame. 
inside. Oh, there's three different people. Tries to solve things for by force. Brains behind the king. A rich man with two followers. So wait. Is it one of you guys, maybe? King's follower strong. There we go. And you want a sign? W whatever this is, I think. A chimney. And a lamp. I didn't expect to finish a building, but hell yeah, dude. Tasty water? Hmm. Come on, you gotta have more than one chest hiding around here somewhere, right? God, the camera. Maybe inside. Stores closed today. <laughs> Stores closed today. Go home, will ya? Is it because of the time? Do we just keep bothering him? I don't think we, like, slouched over last time, did we? I think last time... They said the store was closed. We just shrugged. No, uh, maybe not. Okay. Fine. So we'll stop knocking. We'll wait until tomorrow. Guess we'll explore King's Hideout in the meantime. Is there anything around here that we can buy? Or buy that we can find? Some chests that we can steal? Can't go in there. Wait, there's somebody walking around. Who are you? Are you Joker? Never saw you before. I'm Jake. I'm with Mr. King, the dawn of the town. Don't forget it. Uh, what do you need for your place? Sunshade. Okay. Wait, is his shop open now? There's a lot of lights on. Does he only open at night? That seems odd. But I guess I should also try to get over there real quick before the time of day changes again. In case it closes as soon as... Oh, God. Camera, rotate, please. So I can see where I'm going. Come on, you're all lit up now. Don't tell me you're closed. Store's closed. Damn it, dude. <laughs> you look open, though. What do you mean you're closed? All right, fine. Fuck it. Oh, well, time of day is about to change. Hold on. This is annoying. How do you do this event? Why has it got to be so complicated? Wait, is the time of day not about to change? I thought every time we passed one of those, like, little triangles, time of day changed. I guess maybe it's just, like, the one at the top and the one at the bottom for day and night. But no, there's also, like, dawn and dust that pops up, right? I don't know. Oh, well, now he's definitely closed. The, like, shutters down and everything. Okay, well, screw you then. I'm going to King's Hideout. Hanging out with the Dawn. It's more like I want to steal the Dawn shit while he's not home, but... Premium chicken. Nice, dude. You know that Dawn got the premium chicken. Nothing but premium chicken. It's like you can't open it, so I probably need to, like build it out more before I can go in there. Alright. I mean, I guess food is nice. Better than nothing. Do we have the thing that King wanted? No, that's the prison. Wait, where's King's? There it is. Text from Sunburns. Oh, it's a sunshade. But I think I already gave a sunshade to Joker, so... He's just going to have to wait. Can we, like, sneak in from the top of his shop? I don't <laughs> I don't think he has another entrance up here, but... Come on, it's morning. Open up, dude. How do we do your event if you're never open? 
되고 아 is, is there something else we have to do first to get him to open? We gave him all his stuff. I'm very confused. Mysterious crystal shop owner. Does he ever like walk around town? I know sometimes it is a time-based thing. That's why I thought maybe we just had to wait until like morning, but it's morning now. And still no. Okay, it's after the other triangle, so it should be another time of day. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll just Google it. There we go. That's what I'll do. Do I have enough battery left on my phone? I do. It's like dying, but it's not dead yet. Ah. Dark Cloud Joker Store. Getting into Joker's house. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's it, there's another event that we have to do first, basically. So it's it's pointless. There's nothing we can do here right now. What time is it? 45? I think I'm going to call it, guys, just because of how freaking tired I am. I don't even know for sure if we would have enough time to do another floor of the dungeon before 9 o'clock. And uh, even though I do want to spend more time in this game because I want to finish it. And, like, I am enjoying myself, too, to be fair. It's just, like, yeah. It's just kind of confusing sometimes. But, like, I'm just sitting here falling asleep, so <laughs> I think it's probably best to just go ahead and call it. Chug, chug, chug. It's just water. Why? Was, I don't need to chug water. It's fine. In fact, I kind of had to pee, so... I'm not chugging the water. Chug, chug, sea hug. <laughs> Anyways. I'm... It's water, dude. It's just water. See, there's not even that much left. It's like a drink. There. Y'all happy? <laughs> I chugged the water. Oh my god. It's gone! I chugged it! Be happy. The ottoman's been taken over. We can't get rid of it. I guess we're getting rid of whatever's on it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to bed, guys. Well, I'm not actually going to try and go to bed, but I am going to go. I'm going to get off here and probably end up falling asleep if we're being honest. Um, so yeah, thank you all for stopping in, Lili on your break, uh, Noodle, for just, you know, being here, everybody else. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. I should be back tomorrow playing Baldur's Gate 2 with my brother, um, we're moving on to that game. And, oh, I almost forgot, next week, next Wednesday, um, I might end up skipping Wednesday. There's a small chance I'll play Dark Cloud on Monday night to make up for it, but it's a very small chance. Um, but basically, Wednesday's the only day that I'll be able to get a vehicle to pick up the wood and stuff for the desk that I want to build in my uh, streaming slash game room. Um, so, like, yeah, I think I'm going to be busy Wednesday. If I don't get a play Monday night and Wednesday I'm, like super late getting home and can't stream then maybe wednesday night i'll do dark cloud i don't know but point is the schedule time for dark cloud on wednesday definitely is not um gonna work out because i'll be busy getting getting stuff from my room um but yeah i almost forgot so there's that but that's all <laughs> thank you guys again uh be kind to each other <laughs> goodbye y'all i'm dying i don't <laughs> just <laughs> shit Uh...